Hey guys, Tech Manny here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today, today is the day I'm finally going to be unboxing this. This is called the Micromon MA400, and I'm going to be unboxing and setting it up with my Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD, and I'll explain why I'm doing it right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing this thing. This thing is awesome and I also got this thing over here. You can mount this thing to this and I'll get to that eventually. But main focus is this thing right here. This thing is a personal monitoring system basically, but it's called an ultra compact monitoring monitor headphone amplifier. And when I unbox this, I'm going to show you what this thing does because I basically have everything set up. And if you haven't already, check out my vlog channel. I've been doing everything to set up my closet with like acoustic foam, um, basically telling you the story of it. I basically did everything on my vlogging channel. If you wanna check it out, me, I'm doing this behind the scenes basically of me setting this up, setting up the acoustic foam, everything. Go ahead and check out the links in the description box below and there will be a card right now for you to check out my vlogs for this. So, um, basically there's nothing big, huge about this box. It's just that. So we're gonna be unboxing this. I'm gonna take out these little clips here. So I got these stuck out. So I'm gonna pull this. I didn't undo these clips because I'm afraid I'm gonna like cut myself, but it made the job easier a little bit. There it goes, and there it goes. Hello, let's go. There it goes. Alrighty. So, we have this thing here. It's like a flap that you can open. Then we have this manual. So what this is, is that it's just like a welcome thing saying what this does and all that, what everything is pointing to and what it does and all that, that's pretty cool. On the back, it has the specifications on everything, what specs and what it does, what it uses, all that, that's pretty cool. So enough with this one. This is, I believe, like the, this is just a warning saying, um, important notes concerning installation. The sound quality may diminish within the range of powerful broadcasting stations and high frequency sources. Increase the distance between the transmitter and the device and use shielded cables for all connections. And I will do that. That's the only thing I have is shielded cables. So move this to the side. We'll look at the power now. So this does involve power. So we have this little shush kebab which is pretty cool. So this goes into the back of that unit here. Um, we have this foam thing here. I don't know if that was for packaging or something. So keep this to the side. Then we'll have this thing, which I guess, so it slides in like this, yeah. So this slides in, that's sick, okay. I don't know what it's for, but you can like release it by pushing and pulling, that's cool. I wonder what that's for though, so that's cool. Um, I have a place for this, which is pretty cool. Then we go on to this main event here. We have the device itself and has a decent weight to it. It's metal and you have your knobs here. They're, they have a nice feel to them. They're like rough. So you have your mic level, you have your monitor level, you have your headphones here. You can either do a one fourth, 3.5, you can switch this from mono to stereo. And you have your power on indicator light. Back here, so you have your power here. You have a mic input and a through, and then you have a ground lift, and then you have your monitoring input, which is pretty cool. This is what basically you get to hear um, your monitor level here. So this goes in and you get to hear it when you turn this up. And here is the back of this thing here. There's nothing really, nothing really important back here. So this bracket is basically an onstage microphone extension bracket, bar, whatever. And it's very heavy, I can tell. So let's just get it out of this 
twisty ties. Cool, so that is all done. <laughs> so basically this is the bracket. I won't be needing the screw thing here, so I'll just keep that in a safe place. And why I got this bracket is because you can place this thing on a mic stand by using this thing and attaching it to a mic stand. But the best part is that you can mount this thing to this, like so, like that. And if you can see right here, there's these two screws here. And these two screws, um, I have to drill holes into this thing matching them. Drill holes in here, line them up, and place it like so. Which is cool. So I have to get my mic stand, whatever, and do this, attach it to my mic thing, see where I can adjust it, mark it, mark the holes, and we'll drill. What you get in this packaging for the Behringer MA400 is, of course, the unit itself, a concern installation thing, a manual, and it's power, and you get this little thing that disconnects. And then, if you want to mount this to a bracket or whatever, you can get this thing. Um, it is called the Onstage, sta onstage Stands Microphone Extension Attachment Bar, and I'll put all the links in the description box below for this and these and if you want to see me um, installing this mounting it on this thing um, check out my vlogging channel you'll see it there and i'll put a card up to that video specifically and you can watch that come back or you can watch this completely and come back and basically the next clip would be of me installing this and plugging everything in and testing it out so i'm gonna mount this sucker on like that and <laughs> it is set like so it's like it's meant to be there so i'm gonna place this in the closet i'm gonna place light in there for you all to see and we're gonna hook this up so to route this it's pretty easy but let me explain so you have your audio interface over there that is an input for an xlr so that's going into that and if you plug this side in it's coming out of this condenser going into this and in to the audio interface. Well, you do not want to do that because if you just do this, you won't be able to monitor your stuff. So you'll need a second XLR. And I have one handy right here, which is pretty cool. So we can use this going to this thing right over here. So plug this into the XLR. We have it come around here. So this XLR is connected to this going out from this. So out, and it's going into the mic input. So what you have to do is that you see this mic input here and you have to put your mic input in here like so. Then, as I said before, this is coming out. That is an input for your XLR. And what this is, it's a mic through. And this mic through, and what this allows to do, if you plug this in, like right now, this is going like that, out. And the mic input, you can adjust with your um, knob here and the monitor. To recap, we have this XLR right here coming out of this, going into the mic input. And then we have the mic through, which is going into the audio interface over there. And that is coming out and going to the audio interface, as I said. Now, and if we power this up, you'll be able to hear your mic input, but you won't be able to hear your monitor signal, like a backing track or whatever. And that's what this cable is for. This is just a 3.5, and you can check this, and you can check my vlog out, and you can see how I routed this thing and to make it go in here, so check that out. And of course, it, it won't do anything, so what you need is an adapter and this is what it is so it goes from a 3.5 to a 1 4th and it's an adapter so you connect this going into that like this and you plug this in like so but we have one more thing to do which is power i have this thing here this is just a splitter to plug in three outlets and what i'll be doing is i'm going to place that behind here because i mean there's no other port for this in this closet. There's no outlet. So I have to route this cable under and in here. And I don't know if this is um, long enough. So let's see how long this is actually. Okay, so this seems to be decently long, but I might need an extension. Yeah, sadly I will need an extension cord. <laughs> um, this plugs into here. And what I am gonna do is that I'm just gonna keep it slack 
like this because of course the person's going to be moving this around and it's going to be <laughs> in the door when they close it so what i'm thinking of doing is that i might just leave this here like right in this corner here and have an extension cord coming around here and possibly hide it a little bit hide it under this area here we can put this in it like so like that that's actually pretty darn snug then um place it right here and then we're going to give it some a little bit more snack and we're gonna feed this under this post thing here and hopefully not prick myself because there are little tiny pins in here so that's under that awesomeness so we can actually put that under and uh let's feed this through this area here so we can work it on the, on the other side so i can close this door so i want to feed this just a tiny bit under here just a tiny bit and the uh and the wire won't affect the door closing so that's good so this wire has to go to the back of the tv now that involves me moving this entire huge thing a dust bin of stuff <laughs> get up from here and move it ever so slightly now we have the back of this area so as you can tell here's the power for my power box and here is the power for my tv what we're going to do is that we are going to put this under here like that i'm going to grab this so let's unplug the tv plug it into this do that now this isn't really logical but i mean it doesn't involve a lot of power the all the power is these two but this doesn't involve a lot of power at all and of course it's going to be unplugged the majority of the time so it doesn't really matter so finally plug it in now we got power over there and now we are going to move this back the same way how we did it before. Now we should have power. And there it goes. Power it is. And we are going to test it. So because we do not need to turn up the volume over there. Because this is coming out and going to this as a mic input. So you can use your mic input. And you can turn this all the way up and I'm going to place these on. This is left. Place these on. Test. One, two, three. Test. Test. Ooh, I can hear myself. So the next test I need to do is um, see if the monitor level actually works. So we're going to come over here to my computer and we're going to play some <laughs> non-copyright music. Uh, we can do... Let's do, huh, that. So we can play that. So I can hear my end over here. So here it is. So this is non-copyright music. So I won't get copyrighted. <laughs> So it's pretty loud. So you, you hear it through here. Now, in order for me to hear the music over there, I have to turn up this knob right here, which is the monitor out. And as I said before, the monitor out knob does not affect my headphones. So I can turn this all the way up and you can hear it and it won't affect my volume here. So let's turn this up to here. Then we're going to do one last test after this, and I'm very excited to see if this works. Let's place these on now. Oh boy. So I don't hear anything as of right now. Everything is connected and snugged. So let's hear it. Ah, <laughs> I hear it. Now there's always a problem with my setup here and it always comes out from the left side. So what I have to do and what it is, is that it's this extension. And what I have to do over here, this is why in my vlogging channel, I placed it right here. And if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna place these on, still hearing audio. And when I pull this, I get both left and right. Shove that in. The song just ended, let me reset it. 
I'm hearing left and right. This thing's on stereo. If I flick it to Mario, it sounds weird. But if I flick it to stereo, I hear stereo sound. And I'm gonna turn this up. So cool, dude. Let me turn this all the way up just a little bit so you can hear it through the GoPro. So this thing works. And the best part is that they can eek, they can adjust their level however they want, make it just hear themselves and blow the speakers in the in the headphones, and it won't affect much of anything. So we're gonna turn this down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Pro Tools very quickly to see if the recording is going through this thing and into the audio interface. And then once that's done, we'll clean everything up and that will be it for this video. So let's stop this, close this window. And we'll open Pro Tools. All right, so we have Pro Tools open here. I'm gonna just put it to desktop. I'm gonna name it test MA400. Open, we got this thing, command equals, command shift N to open a new mono track. And we'll name it um, test MA400 again, closet. Now we have this, so I have to select my ins, which is, this is one, two. So this is two. And then we can actually do that. And now you're not seeing any input going on here. Of course, you can't really see it because of the GoPro, but if I turn this up, you can hear just a tiny bit. See, watch. See it fluctuate? You can probably see it better right here, look. So, let me turn, put on my headphones here. And we can turn this up. And through my headphones, I can hear the echo of the room. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it like this. And what I'm gonna do is that I want to record this. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna press this to, cause that is just um, track input monitoring. Then we're gonna do record. So we enabled record this thing so I can hear the audio over there. Now we're gonna press command space, which is recording. We're gonna zoom in just a tiny bit. So this is that level. We're gonna go over here. Let's zoom this out. And then we're gonna talk really close to this thing. And as you can tell, these things are turned all the way down, so it doesn't really matter. So test, test, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo woo, this MA400 is working. <laughs> you can see there's tiny little wave things. So we have this thing here, and as you can tell, we have these little things, but if we turn this all the way up, you can hear it. Let me turn on my speakers, and you can hear it working. Turn on the speakers, and then we'll listen. So here's spacebar. It might be too loud, but... And as you can tell, these things are turned all the way down, so it doesn't really matter. So test, test, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo woo, this MA400 is working. <laughs> so, this thing is working and I'm super excited. And right now, I'm gonna actually show my sister and um, see what she thinks about this. Alrighty, so I just showed my sister and everything's good. She said, cool. <laughs> Basically, the whole issue and why I got this was because she could not hear herself with the crappy headphones and she couldn't um, hear the backing track as well. So now she can adjust the backing track however she wants and her mic level however she wants and it won't affect my basic setup anything. I don't have to adjust my volume for my headphones to hurt my ears and all that. And I also showed her the boom is off of this too and 
it's all good. We're gonna place this back here and we're going to unplug this zip power. Have you subscribed yet? If not, what are you doing? You should. When you subscribe, there's something called a notification bell. And when you press that smack that button notification bell, you will get notified whenever I upload a video like this or any type of video. I also have a vlogging and gaming channel. The links will be in the description box below and you can check it out at the last 20 seconds of this video. And where I set up these acoustic foams and modifying this and doing little tiny things here and there, that is on my vlog channel. So if you wanna check that out, press that vlog link in the description box below and there will be cards throughout this entire video for you to see my vlogging channel. Anyways guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was an amazing video to shoot and I could say it right now, my booth, basically this wasn't cheap to do, I can tell you that. Just accumulating of years to develop all what I need here. It's a bit, it's a quite bit of money, but for what I need it for is absolutely perfect. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And this is the Tech Manny signing off. See you later, guys. Talk about what they talk about Yeah, we were